this video is about pre-searching and it's aimed at students doing research and dissertation modules, um, mainly in the health sciences. Um, now for research and dissertation model, modules, you're usually required to do quite a structured advanced search. And that can be difficult to do if you're not starting from a fully developed question. For example, you may just have a topic or area of interest that you want to explore. For example, dementia and end of life care. That, however, isn't a fully developed question. Um, and it may be that you need to do a preliminary search, look at your initial results um, in order to find another theme that you can then bring in to develop your question a little bit further. So if we were just to start with the idea of dementia, um, we also know we want end of life. So I'm putting these concepts on separate lines. Um, now we could, if we wanted, develop this search a little bit um, because if we're looking for dementia, we might also be interested in Alzheimer's. So I'm going to say find me dementia or Alzheimer's. For end of life, we could look for alternative words like dying or palliative. And we could use a few little techniques. Like end of life, we want to fix as a phrase. So we'll put double quotation marks around it. So if we send this search now, we've got a number of results. Now, Usually when you're doing research and dissertation modules, you're looking for primary research, qualitative and quantitative articles. Um, now this may not apply to every single um, subject area, for example, public health. I don't think you need primary research articles necessarily, but if you do, you can add that in um, as a known. And usually the best way to search for primary studies is just to add in the word study. So if we limit our current findings to articles about dementia and end of life that are to do with that our primary research, we've ended up with 600 odd articles. Um, now at this point, you'd start looking through these articles um, for additional themes that you can bring into your question and develop it further. Probably before I start looking at those themes, I'd be thinking about just looking at the articles that were in date, for example. So we've now got a pool of 490 articles on our topic that are up-to-date primary studies. And having a quick look at these results, um, for example, one thing I see is pain management here. This might be another theme that we could think about and develop as part of our question. Um, for example, how to um, manage pain in um, end-of-life care with, with dementia patients, something like that. That could become a more developed question. So basically, that is how to do a preliminary search. This is not the search that you would present as your final structured search. Um, you basically start the search again with a more developed question and do your advanced search as normal with individual search strings that you link together and which are illustrated in, in other videos. But this is just a pre-search.